give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. You cannot have eternal life if you don't come to Christ. But as the Father calls you, and then as you come, as you repent, and then you come to Jesus Christ, and you accept him to be your Savior and your Lord, and say, now, he is mine. He lives in my heart, and I live with him, and I abide in his word. It is that ability, is that possibility, and it is that reality of living with him and abiding in his word, that's what grants you eternal life. Look at this again, verse 2. As thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. And this, verse 3, is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. I pray that your life will abide in you forever in Jesus' name. Romans chapter 2. Romans chapter 2. We're reading from verse 7. Romans chapter 2, verse 7. To them who by patient continuance in well doing seek for glory and honor and immortality. What follows? eternal life just after you come to know the lord jesus christ and patiently perseveringly you keep on following the lord and you say i'll never leave him i'll never forsake him because he has promised me to he'll never leave me he'll never forsake me i'll abide in him i'll stay with him he says when that happens and you continue with the lord in godliness and righteousness it says that eternal life will be secured in your life in Jesus' name. Titus chapter 3. Titus chapter 3, reading from verse 5. Titus chapter 3, we're reading from verse 5. Not by works of righteousness that we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us. According to his mercy, he saved us. According to his love, the love that sent Jesus Christ to the cross of Calvary to die for us. According to that love, according to that compassion, according to that mercy, he saved us. Then it says, by the washing of regeneration and the renewing of the Holy Ghost, he washes all our sins away, takes all our sins away, and we're cleansed, and we're put. We, we're now new, and we're renewed because of the renewal of the Holy Ghost in our hearts. He goes on to say, which is shed on us abundantly through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Listen to verse 7, that being justified by what? by his grace not of works it's of grace it's of his mercy it's of his love that he has now justified us he's counted us pure righteous counted us without any guilt because he justified us by his grace we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life you see how many scriptures we have read today talking about eternal life and when you have the son of god you have that eternal life you have faith in the son of god you have that eternal life you come out of your sin you come to the lord you have eternal life and then you allow christ to live strong inside you that every step you take everywhere you go everything you say you allow the grace of god to walk mightily in you so that the life of christ will be reflected in your life that's eternal life and i pray if you have not got that eternal life tonight is your night as you call upon the name of the lord whosoever shall call on the name of the lord shall be saved that me shall be forgiven that me shall have eternal life and then if you've got that eternal life you recommit yourself to the lord again and say lord i will never go back i will never turn back i will not finish my journey halfway i'm going to follow the lord till the end so that with eternal life in me now and christ waiting for me in heaven when i reach there 
I'll kneel before the Lord and say, thank you, Lord. You gave me eternal life. And here I am in heaven. I will live together forever in heaven. Forever with the Lord we shall be. Forever with the Lord we shall dwell. Because we have faith in him. He lives in us. He abides in us. And we abide in him. These things have I reaching unto you. And these things have I taught you today. That believe on the name of the Son of God. That she may know that she have eternal life. And that she may believe on the name of of the Son of God. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. And that eternal life will abide in you in Jesus' name. Will rise up and talk to the Lord in prayer. Let's rise up and talk to the Lord. Eternal life, eternal life, eternal life will abide in you. If you have not believed on the Lord Jesus Christ, this is a great opportunity for you. Because without Christ, you cannot be saved. Without Christ, you cannot be saved. Lord, I believe. I believe. I believe. You sent Jesus Christ to die for me. I believe. And then eternal life comes in, and the Spirit of God will be a witness in your heart that now you are saved. And because He lives inside you, new life, new behavior, new character, you will manifest because of that eternal life that abides in you. And alive, God save my soul, eternal life, eternal life. I want to live eternal life, God save my soul. I want to live eternal life. God save my soul. This is the whole purpose why we are running the race. Internal life, internal life. Let me pray and say, Lord, I want to live internal life. I want to live internal life. That nothing, that nothing will pluck me away from your hands. What is that thing? What will separate you from the hands of God, from the love of Christ? Say, Lord, nothing, nothing, no trials, no friends, no husband, no wife, no children, no colleague will separate me from eternal life, from the love of Christ. Begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. That that eternal life that God has promised, as many that believe in the Son, Jesus Christ, and as many that keep the word, the law, the commandment of Christ, and as many that say, yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. That I will believe not just in words, but in action. And I will believe in my dealings. I will never lose it. It is an important treasure. It is a treasure. It is a treasure. How will it be after the race? How will it be? That it is just a little thing that we will leave behind on this earth that will take away the kingdom of God from you. God forbid that we lose it. Father, I don't want to lose eternal life. Lord, I don't want to lose it. Lord, let your work continually be in my, in, in my heart. Let it always be in my mouth. 
in anywhere I go, oh Lord, that I will always stand and defend the promises and defend Christ in me, the hope of glory. Father, I don't want to lose eternal life. I have nothing, the temptation, the pressures of this world, the false doctrine of this world, the winds of trials and persecution. Father, it will not take me away from your hands. Father, I don't want to be a castaway. I don't want to be a castaway. I don't want to be a castaway. On this journey that I'm heading, on this road, on this journey to the kingdom, on this journey to eternity, at eternity, I want to reign with you. Lord, we thank you, Lord, we appreciate your holy name. Lord, we give you all the praise. Lord, I want to make it at the end. Hold me, oh Lord. I don't want to lose. I don't want to go off your hands. Lord, help me to keep to your commandment no matter the challenges. I will not compromise. The strength to stand strong even in the face of challenges. Say, Lord, I will not compromise. My emotions will not take over me. My personal emotion, my personal want, my personal desires will not snatch me away from the hands of God. Like we will serve the Lord selflessly. For we are crucified with him. Not I that live, but Christ that live in him. Christ in our front, Christ at our back, in our side. Christ on the inside, walking on the outside. Lord, I thank you. I appreciate your holy name. Lord, be the magnified. Be the glorified, O oh Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We appreciate your holy name. Lord, your word is new every morning. But your word is a light unto our part. For you are freshening us, O oh God, and renew us one more time with your word. Father, we hold on to that word. Father, we hold on, O oh God, to your Son, Jesus Christ, that you've sent, O oh God. Lord, we say we believe in your Son that gives us eternal life. We believe in his words. We believe in his commandments. We believe that you sent him to die for us. But we believe that Jesus Christ is the only way to eternal life. He is the only one that can give us eternal life. So we hold on to it, Lord. Let nothing take us away from your hands. Father, we are overcoming. Lord, we will run the race and we will finish our course and we will wear the crown. In Jesus' name, we've prayed. Amen. Let's share the grace in fellowship. In the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. They don't tell your neighbor, don't let go of internal life. Don't let go. Amen. Amen. Thank